Thank you all for coming today. My name is Patty Hegwood, and this is our November blessing. And here we are in beautiful angels rest, and we're all just a little chilly, but not too bad, right? And we want to welcome all our viewers at home and the folks who are joining us today. You know, you know what time this is, right? This is that time of thanks where we, we give thanks and gratitude for all of those who are in our lives and those who've touched our lives. And um, one, of the, one of the things I would like to talk about is that, that tender, tender circle and the interconnectivity of all of us with the animals and the people in our lives. And, you know, when we're looking at this time of year, there's, there's sometimes in that circle or within that year, some things have happened that perhaps have caused us to grieve, to grieve and to take to account the losses that we've faced over the last year. And I really don't want to tell anyone how to feel and when to feel, because I think that this is a path we all have to walk on our own and it's a road we do have to travel in our time in our own time as much time as it takes and i just want you to think about one thing and that is climbing behind that steering wheel of the mind if we can think about times when we really enjoyed being with our animal companion that perhaps has crossed and is no longer in our lives. It's a matter of focus. It's a matter of shifting that focus. Um, through all my times, if I've ever been in a situation of loss, which I have had plenty over the last six months, you know, it comes in waves and cycles. One of the things that I'm reminded of is to think about what their lives were like and what they enjoyed rather than focusing on that last month or two months or the last year of their lives where it could have been problematic. You maybe had to do a little more caregiving than you normally would. And that, of course, draws us even closer into their world, which we feel that pain uh, and that sting even harder when they're gone. Um, I want you to be gentle with yourselves. We are coming up upon the holidays and to really remind yourself that your focus is compassion for yourself. Not all our family or friends understand that we might not want to hang out like we normally do. A lot of times there's expectations that are placed on our time and, um, and, and I know that our family and our friends mean well but also know that your first job is to take care of you. Even if you have to go to a, an event and um, have your own escape plan, <laughs> bring your own car, whatever it, whatever it takes for you to take care of yourself through this time, super important. So during our uh, annual blessing, we had Dr. Amanda Weiss here. And she's a very lovely uh, psychologist who focuses on grief and pet loss. And one of the things that she said, I feel bears repeating. And that is, if you could press a red button and all your pain disappears, but with it, all of your memories together disappear as well, would you press that red button? Something to think about. Because when that pain hits, it's hard, it's brutal. And you want anything to just take it away. But do you? Because then it erases a whole lot of the good stuff too. So we have to think about that. And the, the thing that we are all so very grateful for here at Angels Rest and Best Friends is that we are surrounded by like-minded individuals. We're surrounded by people who get it. So when you're around the people who don't get it, be kind to them. 
because they don't know what it's like to love so deeply. And then be kind to yourself and cut yourself a little bit of slack and know that we're grateful that you're in our world. So thank you all for joining us today. And I'm going to pass over to my friend James here. My name is James. I am a caretaker here uh, at Angel's Rest. Uh, we want to memorialize the animals that uh, crossed uh, from the sanctuary in November. Starting in Dogtown, there was Takini, Rocky, Stallone, Mugen, Hachi, and Knots. From Parrot Garden was Phoebe. From, Bum uh, from Bunny House was Bumblebee. From Wild Friends, we had Gobi the Desert Tortoise, mm. who was 40 years old. Wow. Piggy Paradise was Charlotte. Uh, we want to remember uh, and memorialize uh, some of the, uh, the tributes that were sent in to us uh, from people that had animals that crossed this month, starting with Bailey, Oliver and Grover, the Jacobs Bedwell family dogs, Buddy and Rambo, Carrot, Franklin, Venus, Smokey and Baggins, Luna, Diego, and Cassie, the Jones family pets, Rain, Roxy, the Trollin family pets, and Clancy. Hello everybody, my name is Josh and I'm the manager here at Angel's Rest. And today I'm gonna to talk about a couple of stories that uh, came in and we're gonna reflect on a couple of these today. First off, there is Gracie and Jack. Gracie and, J Gracie and Jack were the best friends that they ever could be. Gracie, AKA Gracie Mae, was a Shih Tzu. Jack, AKA Bug, was a Japanese chin. Both were old souls in silly bodies. I had both of them from puppies to their last day on, the side, on this side of the Rainbow Bridge. Gracie loved to snuggle. When you held her, she'd rest her little head right in the perfect space on your shoulder. The saying, though she was but little, she is fierce, definitely fit her. She knew what she wanted and usually always got it. I mean, she was my baby. Gracie passed away in May 2017. She was going through CHF and her passing was very traumatic. A little over a year ago, I got a tattoo of her paw print. Jack, oh Jack, what a funny, smart and loving guy. My bug was the best. He was stubborn, yet knew exactly when I needed my bug snugs. His signature look was a mohawk, often colored blue or green. Jack started having seizures early in life. His vet care team was fantastic and made sure that he was healthy and safe. This year I noticed something was not right. His health was rapidly declining. The steps towards end of life decisions were starting to become a reality very quickly. I hated it. But in my gut, I knew he deserved peace, like grace, but without the trauma. He went peacefully under the tears of love. Shortly after Jack's passing, I made another tattoo appointment. A bug with a mohawk, his paw print, and a feather for Gracie. Having their wind chimes in one of the most beautiful places on earth that angels overlook calms my broken heart. Thank you for creating a place that can be shared with other broken hearts. The house is still too quiet, but their love fills my soul forever. Gracie and Jack, the best friends ever. And this was a story sent in for Ginger. Weeks away from her sweet 16, precious Ginger, Karma Bliss, joined her sisters at the Rainbow Bridge in November. Under age two, when her forever home found her, early maltreatment had caused her to be skittish but she became the most chill, reliable, accommodating Yorkie ever, making many friends and earning frequent flyer miles with ease. The smallest graduate in her training class, she earned her canine good citizen certification. She leaves a big hole that can never be filled. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to offer a moment of silence for all our little loved ones that had passed away not only this month, but in the past.
I'm going to share a poem with you. This is the delight song of So I Tell E. It's a poem by a Native American author, N. Scott Momaday, and depicts the beauty of nature and the relationship between man and the environment. The author emphasizes the importance of preserving the natural world and living in harmony with it. The Delight Song of So I Tell e. I am a feather on the bright sky. I am the blue horse that runs in the plain. I am the fish that rolls, shining in the water. I am the shadow that follows a child. I am the evening light, the luster of meadows. I'm an eagle playing in the wind. I'm a cluster of bright beads. I am the farthest star. I am the cold of dawn. I am the roaring of rain. I am the glitter on the crust of the snow. I'm on the long track of the moon in a lake. I am a flame of four colors. I'm a deer standing away in the dusk. I am a field of sumac and the palm blanche. I'm an angle of geese in the winter sky. I am the hunger of a young wolf. I am the whole dream of these things. You see, I am alive. I am alive. I stand in good relation to the earth. I stand in good relation to the gods. I stand in good relation to all that is beautiful. I stand in good relation to the daughter of Sentanti. You see, I am alive. I am alive. Thank you all for joining us today. You're some real troopers. It's getting a little bit chillier as we speak, but it's so great to see you all here. And we thank you all who will be joining us at home. Take care. Bye-bye.